Whoa, what a day. It's really blowing out here. Hmm, what's the right word? Chilly? Wintry? Breezy? Windy? Hmm, stormy? No. Hmm. Blustery. That's it. Hi, I'm Melissa Sweet, and I'm answering questions for the Blue Bonnet readers. Hi, Melissa. What was your favorite part about illustrating the right word? So my favorite part about illustrating the right word was creating the lists, and the lists became the art. So I referenced Roger's thesaurus, and I must have spent 100 hours reading his word list to try to come up with the best list for the book. What fascinated you about Roger? What fascinated me the most about Peter Marc Roger was that his original thesaurus, his handwritten thesaurus, still existed. So I traveled to California to see it, and it was amazing. It's on very thin paper, a very small book, but I was interested to note that his handwriting was actually really hard to read. So his cursive was a little, what's the right word, um, illegible. Where did you get your ideas from? Where do my ideas come from? Well, the text, the story, tells me some things, and then I go do more research. When I was thinking how Roger created his word list in, in the London Park, I went into my local park and I started to make my own list. So what did I see? Trees, boughs, limbs, buds, sprigs, twigs, just like that. I just kept a running tally of everything I saw, just like he would have done. How did you get your whimsical art style? Whimsical? Oh! So Roger reminds us that whimsical means humorous or quirky. Who says I'm quirky? It's so much a part of who I am as an artist that I don't even think about it. So style just becomes the way you see the world. Hi, Melissa. What advice do you have for a young artist? Alexander Calder says art should be happy and not lugubrious, right? Lugubrious, sad, melancholy. What's the right word? Art should be fun. Fun! It should be fun. Art should be fun. Art should be fun. Thank you, Blue Bonnet readers. Have fun reading. <laughs>